With a few quick strokes and a marker, Ryan Smolik can create a masterpiece. But for many years, drawing pictures was the only way people would know what Ryan was thinking. When I was about a young kid, I would hand out lots of interesting pictures to people and stuff like that. So I, that's how I kind of got my way of communicating to people. Ryan is living with autism. The 33-year-old was diagnosed as an infant. He says creating art has played a major role in giving him enough confidence to talk to people. Oh, it's an outlet. It's definitely it to inspire people. It's a, it's a many versatile uh, thing for people to you know feel encouragement and uh, and move on. Like many of our artists, um, verbally, it, sometimes we're unable to express ourselves. But through the visual arts, we're we're more able to do that. Each piece of his artwork tells a different story, but the theme is the same. He wants to inspire others. Uh, because you don't really see much people that are disabled or severely disabled in an artwork. You just don't. You know? So I thought I wanted to break that taboo and, and, yeah. you know, and say that it was all right. Well, Ryan isn't just an artist. He also does speaking engagements about living with autism. Well, one day, an author from L.A. approached him about using his work in her book. And so this exact piece is going to be featured in her collection. The book is called Artism, the Art of Autism. It's a collection of work created by autistic people from around the world. Most mental health issues are sort of labeled as invisible illnesses. And so often... People like, go through life and they're suffering intensely and people don't know it. Autism affects about one out of every 100 people. And that's why Ryan is sharing his story so he, like, and his favorite pieces of art. This one captures Winnipeg just after the 1950s flood. Well, I decided to paint on that because I mean, despite, you know, uh, the situation of uh, how horrific a flood is, you know, I mean, uh, I kind of painted from that, and uh, I thought I was use that as inspiration, you know, because it's it is still beautiful. For more information on the book Artism: The Art of Autism, you can log on to artismtoday.com. For Shaw TV, I'm Mira Bahadusing.